So you can actually do matrix algebra to solve a system of equations. Uh, the reason we're, it's not practical for us is because computing the inverse of a matrix is more takes more time than solving the original system. If you can compute the inverse, or if you already know the inverse, you can use it to solve the system. So how, how do we do, um, how, how can we use algebra, uh, matrix algebra here to represent a system? So I'm going to multiply A and X. So there's A, there's X, Y, Z equals B. So I'm going to go across, down. So we have, just carefully blocking this, well, there's really no reason to block anything there. We'll just go 3X plus Y plus 2Z. Zero X minus Y plus 5z, and last up, 2x plus y plus 4z, and just copying over the right side. So there is our uh, product, and there's our constant, and how are two matrices, if two matrices are equal, that means they're three, uh, row one, there's only one entry up here. It looks like there's a lot more, but remember, this is all just, uh, there's three rows, but there's really just one column. So we did three by three times three rows by one, so we end up with a three by one matrix. So it's three rows, but only one column. So that means three X plus Y plus two Z equals 26. So matching the first entries, second entries, minus y plus 5z equals 39, and last up, 2x plus y plus 4z equals 117. That is a linear system, and if you uh, look, just picking out coefficients here, our coefficient matrix would be 3, 1, 2, 26, 0, negative 1, 5, 39, and 2, 1, 4, 117. So there's a linear system. This would be the coefficient matrix, and it would be easier to solve the matrix than it would be to find the inverse right here. If you know the inverse, how do you solve algebraically? So if I know A inverse, I'm going to use the inverse. Now when we do a matrix algebra, we have to be a little more careful because multiplying on the left is not the same as multiplying on the right. So I do need to treat both sides fairly. So I have A inverse A X equals A inverse B. A A inverse is the identity matrix. And identity matrix times X is X. So you could solve for X algebraically if you knew A inverse. Uh, weren't, it, t it takes too long to find A inverse, so it's good to be aware of this, but it's not practical uh, because it's easier to just solve the system the way it was originally.